Hello Scorpio and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I am so happy you are here with me today. This is your weekly reading for October 14th to the 20th. So we are going to get right into your reading and we're going to get your incoming energies. Now this is a, an impactful week because we do have full moon on uh, October 17th. It is in the sign Aries. So this is a very powerful uh, full moon. So I think you will be feeling the effects of this full moon. Uh, again, Aries is the warrior sign. So they're very active, self-starting, daring, fierce, assertive. Um, you know, they're courageous uh, and you know, they've got a lot of drive. So again, there could be uh, chapters in your life that you're ready to close out and you're doing them with a great sense of uh, like you're on a mission and, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, we just have to stay, uh, stay somewhat grounded. That's all. All right. We're going to get your incoming uh, incoming energies. Now keep in mind, Scorpio, this is a general reading. Take the parts that resonate and leave the rest. If it does resonate, please consider leaving, uh, leaving uh, comments because it helps me connect with your energy and I really do appreciate it. All right, there we go. So you got two interesting energies, incoming energies. We will talk more about these in a moment, but you got uh, dark thoughts and new beginnings. So... We've got to figure out how we release the dark, dark thoughts, become more positive because there are new beginnings for you. All right, Scorpio, at the bottom of the deck, let's go three back here and let's find out what your energies are here. So we've got deception, the loving man and teacher. I think that you are learning something. Absolutely. The loving man, we're going to start with this one here because this very much can be your energy. There is no gender with any of these cards. This is a watery, uh, a water sign. So Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. And again, Scorpio, I think this is you showing up in your own reading. I think that you are learning something about a situation in your life that has been a little deceptive. Something that you feel now, whether it's people in your life or whether it's just a situation or whether it was you deceiving your own self because you've had some dark thoughts about how to go about creating a new beginning. I think that you are ready for a new beginning, but I think that you have been putting things in your own mind, in, and, and this can be only for some of you, uh, and we all do it. Sometimes we prevent ourselves from new beginnings by deceiving ourselves and thinking, you know, well, you know, I don't know if it's really possible for me to be able to do that. We make excuses, and I think that you are actually in a phase right now that is really prosperous for you because you are learning something there is like uh, whether it's somebody around you that is a supportive connection teaching you something or whether you are taking it upon yourself you are trying to look at yourself from a better perspective and a much with a much clearer mind and a much higher energy force um, you're not allowing deception to get the better of you you want to release those dark thoughts. This is your incoming energies now. You want to release those dark thoughts because you know your cycle is about to change and that there are new beginnings on the horizon for you. But you have to figure out how to unleash those dark thoughts so that you can change your whole mindset. And by changing that mindset is going to bring you, um, bring you a lot of beautiful abundance here. All right, Scorpio, let's get your nine cards. We're going to start with the first row. I'm going to get all the cards first. Then we're going to go over each one of them. Then I will clarify them so we can get a better idea of what's happening here for you during this week. There we go. Excellent. And one more, please. There we go. So there's the first row. All right, we got those dark thoughts still happening. We gotta figure out how to release them. All right, so let's get the second row here. Spirit Angels Guides. You are feeling burdened because there's a decision you need to make. You have to let go of something in your life for sure. There is definitely, you have to release control over something. And then the last row. See, you're getting some clarity, which is really nice. Nice to see a sense of victory here. All right. Yeah, you're letting go. Everybody is letting go. I just want you to know everybody's getting the Ten of Swords, and it's because we have that full moon. It's a very powerful full moon. 
All right, let's start with the two of coins. This is the very first card to the left here. Two of coins, you've been juggling things. I think you're juggling your emotions, you're juggling your thoughts, everything in your life, whether you're juggling your funds, it's different for each of you. Some of you could be juggling relationships. Um, you know, we're trying to balance everything out and sometimes that becomes very burdensome. Uh, taking on too many tasks and not figuring out how to balance it out properly. And I think that, you know, there is opportunity for you to stop the juggling. You just have to figure out which ship it is that you are going to allow in. Uh, we want to release the dark thoughts, so we don't want to allow in this ship that has sort of the storm going through it. We want to allow the ship in that has the light penetrating and pushing it towards us. So that's what we want to focus on. But the only way we can do that is to stop juggling everything in our life and put an end to those dark thoughts. And then we have number one, the magician. I love to see the magician come up around full moons because it is a time for us to, to really embrace our manifestations. Uh, it, this is a very powerful time for you because thoughts do become things, meaning that we have to get rid of those dark thoughts before we enter that new or full moon phase, which is going to happen on the 17th. You have the possibility to, uh, you know, you are on the brink of a whole new beginning here, but there's things in your life you need to release and you have to figure out what those are. And one of them is definitely dark thoughts. Uh, you need more clarity in your life so that you can let go of things that have hurt you in the past. Uh, the magician really is a powerful time for you. You have a lot of magic within you and I find you get this card a lot and I think it is because it, 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 it's because you have such an intensity about you. You have, you are very powerful by nature and you know in a positive way how to use these magical tools to really bring your manifestations into the here and now. The eight of swords is very similar to that dark thoughts because thoughts are the way that we communicate. It is our thought process. It is the mental activity that goes on inside and swords are of the mental suit. So when you look in the mirror, you're seeing yourself blindfolded and that, you know, you're feeling a little trapped or you're feeling like there is something that's holding you back from making choices or decisions. It's your own thought process. And again, we want to open up those new beginnings with that beautiful sunlight illuminating us and feeling positive, but there is something you need to release and only you are going to know what that is but it's a dark thought that you feel you can see the shadow and you can feel like there's this concrete maze and like how do I get out of this feeling and that's how you're feeling in this eight of swords as well now the five of swords is Again, it's almost like a mental conflict because it is this, it, it is again a sword suit. So it is a mental conflict. It can be a, a hollow victory, meaning that yes, you do feel like you're, you're winning a battle, but you feel like there's no emotions with it. And you're feeling like, yeah, it's kind of something I have had to do, but I'm not liking that I've had to do it. And I think that you might be put in a position where you are uh, somewhat feeling that way. So it is an empty victory. You are holding the swords here. You're holding two swords. And it's interesting because your next card is the two of swords. Uh, again, uh, there could be a situation around you that you have really... Um, and, and again, it's a situation where, you know, maybe, maybe people's thoughts and their own opinions are getting into your head. And you're feeling as if you've kind of got to battle yourself out of it. It's leaving you at a crossroads where you know you have to make some sort of a decision and you're helping, you're really hoping that around that full moon with the manifestations here that you're able to make some changes in your life. You want to stop the juggling. You want to be able to release yourself from indecision. And interesting enough, you've got going diagonally, you have two, two, and then you've got the closure, which is the 10 of swords. So you are going to be able to reach some sort of a decision, but it's just all of a matter of you releasing the dark thoughts, taking off the blindfolds, because behind that blindfold is a beautiful landscape here with the sun illuminating. So I'm feeling that sense of freedom as well. You have to really give yourself more credit and, uh, you know, really look within your, um, your uh, look intuitively, uh, use your intuition because that, that magic card is about your intuition as well. That's what I'm feeling with this, this reading 
is your intuition is very important and it's what is going to be that teacher for you. It's going to give you the insight that you need. Ten of Wands, you're feeling a lot of burdens on your shoulders. It's hard to reach any destination when we have this, when we have all of these burdens, whether they're responsibilities that you've taken on yourself or whether or not they're the responsibilities of other people around you. So we take the responsibilities of our, our parents, our children, our friends, our colleagues. We do that continuously, but we don't realize that they start to pile up. And now it's time for you to make a decision. And you, you, the decision I think has to be made not with your emotions. It just needs to be made so that you can put rest to it so that you can release these burdens. Ace of Swords is the clarity and it is a positive victory. Again, so you're feeling a, a, a victory of defeat, uh, not defeat. I don't like that word. I feel that the Five of Swords is that it's an empty, hollow victory because there's no emotions attached to this victory. It's, an, it's a victory out of necessity because you can no longer feel a sense of indecision and you can't keep holding on to all of the burdens. So you have to make a decision, whether it's right or whether it's wrong, you just need to make the decision. But what I love to see is that you've got this beautiful Ace of Swords, which is a victory. Now you're feeling a great sense of victory because there's clarity there. You're going to have a breakthrough moment that is going to put everything more at, at, at peace for you. So I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing two tens, I'm seeing two twos, I'm seeing two aces, very interesting. All right, then we have the Three of Wands. That comes, uh, that comes um, after a time of planning. Um, maybe you were in planning phases, you were ready and wanting to take action. Well, the Three of Wands is really you feeling confident about um, allowing expansion into your life. Things are expanding for you now, and I think that comes with victory and insight. Breakthrough moments and allowing to release something from the past, something that no longer serves its purpose, it what is what allows expansion to take place. So that is, you know, you being able to set yourself free to, to make a decision is going to help you in this new, new um, phase of your life where you're ready to expand in a whole new direction. And every look at the, the waters are peaceful and the sun is starting to rise here. So there's a lot of happiness here as well. You're releasing something from the past and you're letting go. And this is why expansion is taking place. Clarity is what brings you to the point of this Ten of Swords. You are able to release something and as painful as sometimes it can be to release parts of our past, whether it's relationships, jobs, or just circumstances. Sometimes it's just circumstances in our life. Like if we've been continuously juggling so many things in our life and it's been burdening us, it's time to release that so that we can remove the blindfold and start to make healthier choices. It's all about healthier choices. All right. A lot of mind, a lot of things going on in your mind right now. So a lot of thought processes. Let's see what is happening here with the two of coins. Let's get your clarifying card. And you got the seven of wands. Well, nothing's going to hold you back from what it is you want to achieve, Scorpio. You're very strong. Uh, you uh, have a sense of valor. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, what is going on around you. And yes, you know what? Yes, you've got, had to juggle many things in your life, but you are standing your ground in a positive way and you're not backing down. And that's the most important thing is that you're not, you're fighting a good fight and you're doing it for your highest good. You're not doing it uh, vindictively. You're not doing it to hurt anybody. You're doing it because you need to stand up for yourself or for those that are around you. And it might require you to juggle a few things in your life right now, but you are going to get the clarity that you need and you are going to be able to close out. Um, this isn't something that's going to stay in uh, around for long. Let's find out with the magician. Let's find out what the clarifying card. Wow, another ace. You've got three aces in your reading already. So, and again, four aces with the new beginning. So lots of new beginnings for you. We just have to figure out how to release those dark thoughts, Scorpio. That's it, easy enough. <laughs> All right, the ace of cups with the beautiful magician. Okay, you're manifesting a new sense of emotional fulfillment in your life, happiness. You wanna bring in more, um, more of, of that into your life. You want to release any conflicts in your life. You, you're ready to put all of this mental anguish behind you. You don't wanna be thinking negatively anymore. You are looking for um, fulfillment on many different levels of your life. And the Ace of Cups is the emotional fulfillment that you have been wanting for a very long time. You've been standing
standing your ground and you've been fighting up against all of the obstacles in your life. Well, now it's time to bring in positive thoughts because remember, our thoughts become actions, our thoughts become things. And if you can manifest your thoughts in a positive way, you are going to bring that emotional fulfillment into your life as well. Whether that be new love, new emotional experiences, again, there just could be so many new, uh, new expand things expanding in your life in a very positive way. Eight of Swords, let's find out how we release this Eight of Swords energy. So you find it challenging, the Nine of Swords, again, but you know what? You don't back down. Again, uh, you've got a strength about you, Scorpio, that is, um, that is unbelievable. When you want something, you go after it, and you go after it with a lot of passion. Now, I think that there, uh, there are boundaries that you need to set in your life, and it could be boundaries with certain people, certain things. Again, it, maybe that's why you've been juggling a lot of things, because you haven't put boundaries. You haven't set those boundaries. Now it's time to do that. You need to start, of course, not seeing um, everything in your life as uh, from, a, from a challenging standpoint. We need to remove that blindfold so that when you look in the mirror, you see new beginnings, that you see the sun shining, and that you don't see things as challenges. And again, for some of you, it could be that you have to set certain boundaries so that you can uh, protect yourself emotionally as well. Let's find out with the Five of Swords. That came out fast. The Two of Swords. See, Two of Swords, Five of Swords. You're at an indecision. You're feeling an empty, hollow victory because you're having to make a choice without really having the clarity that you need. And that could be just a certain part of your life, a certain situation. Um, you are closing your heart to making this decision. Like I said before, this is a decision you're making with your mind, not with your heart. So again, uh, you know, you, uh, I think you will feel a sense of victory here. You're standing your ground with it. Let's find out with the two of swords in the center of your reading. Let's find out spirit angels guides. And we've got the six of pentacles. That's lovely energy. We're restoring more balance. Look at that. You've got the scales of balance there. We are still in Libra season as well. The two of swords, twos can be all about balance too. You know, you're trying to balance these two swords that are extremely heavy and you've got that twice. It's very hard to do that. And, and you know, this is very much Libra energy, the two of swords, cardinal sign, Libra energy. So it's showing up twice in your chart here. The scales, again, wanting that balance. The only way you're going to get balance in your life and you're going to feel like you are on the receiving end of things in a positive way is by um, removing that blindfold, putting down your swords and really looking at things uh, in a more balanced way. You are trying to restructure your life so that you're not juggling things. Uh, and now it's time to, uh, now it's really time for you to figure out what you need to restructure in your life. How do you reach, how do you change your thought process to bring in more balance and more abundance? Because this is, you will be on the receiving end of something very prosperous here, but it requires you to make a choice. Let's find out with the Ten of Wands. You are feeling the burdens of something that has broken your heart. And again, that breaking, somebody's heart being broken is a multitude of things. This is you, you are releasing something here, meaning with the Ten of Wands, it's been burden, burdensome for you, but it's also a sense of relief because it's like you are, uh, the three of swords, yes, it pierced your heart, but you know what? Now you're able to carefully remove those swords and you're going to feel less burdens on your shoulders. And it all comes with releasing some sort of, it, it's releasing something to bring you and restore more balance. Could be somebody of Libra energy uh, or air energy. Uh, let's find out with the ace of swords here. Let's see what's going on with this ace of swords. Spirit angels guides. Wow, there's two. Yeah, you are, you know, you really want this new beginning. And I think something painful has happened that causes many burdens. And that could be, again, I think that the burdens are somebody else's burdens. I think that you are taking on the burdens of somebody else and it's breaking your heart um, because you want to help them. You want to help, but you're, you're feel at an impasse because you're not exactly sure which dire direction to go. Uh, and, um, 
And there is a great deal of abundance here for you and it's waiting there for you. The Ace of Swords is that victory, the victory of being able to feel like you are, a weight is lifted. And I think that that comes with the healing of the Ten of Wands here. You are putting something, you're putting a challenge, something that's been challenging you, you're putting closure to it, probably around that full moon. Those fool is new vibrant energy. It's a new sense of wonder about life and it's taking a little bit of a leap of faith, taking a little bit of a risk and feeling really confident, um, not knowing exactly the direction you're going, but feeling like you're ready to embark on something new and that is those new beginnings. You are doing it with a lot of confidence and again, you've got this Knight of Wands, which is very much Sagittarius energy. I feel like you're really ready for a new adventure. Uh, you're ready to put a lot of things from your past behind you. And again, this week is going to be a lot of those, a, a lot of you, you doing that. You know, again, you're putting closure to things and you are moving forward in a very nice way here. Um, the Knight of Wands is the adventurer. He is a fast moving knight. So he, uh, he's, he's passionate about moving, moving things along steadily. The Three of Wands, is you ready for expansion? Ready to expand. And you got the Ace of Swords. Again, look, Ace of Swords. Uh, interesting how things repeat themselves. You got a lot of repeated um, cards in your reading. You will expand, absolutely. Whatever you've been planning, your visions for your future, the goals that you are setting for yourself. You are learning so much. You are learning so much. It's like you are in a learning phase here. And this is why you've got this two of swords because there's so much information coming in. You have to balance that information out so that you can make really um, good choices for yourself. The ace of swords again is that breakthrough moment where you're feeling a sense of victory. It's a heavy sword, so it's extremely balanced. And again, restoring that balance is what helps you um, break through anything that's been holding you back from your long, vi like your long-term vision. I think that there are things expanding for you in a beautiful way here, and it comes with a sense of victory. Okay, more aces. Look at all the aces that you've got. New beginnings for you. The Ten of, okay, look at the Ten of Swords. Yeah. The Ten of Swords, it, it, the universe is calling out to you and saying it's time to take action. It's time to see some movement here. We can't keep holding on to things there's no time to keep holding on to things that have hurt us. We need to let those things go. And that is the energy that you were bringing in here because you were either deceiving yourself or feeling deceived by something else. And, but you are learning. You're not, it's not like you're just burying this. You're actually bringing it into the open. You're communicating it and you're learning something about it. And this is the universe and your angels saying to you, this is a necess necessity in your life right now, this 10 of swords. It's very important. So around, you know, start to manifest what you want to close out in your life uh, on, on the 17th when we do have that full moon in Aries, because it's going to be a very powerful time for you to set things in motion in a positive way. And you got another Libra card. So you got three Libra cards here. Um, you got a lot of air energy in your reading. Look at the scales. We got the scales. We got the scales everywhere in your reading. It's all about figuring out how to balance things out. Balance will start to restore itself when you release yourself from the dark thoughts. When you close out those chapters in your life, things that have hurt you, things that have burdened you, responsibilities that you've taken upon yourself, you're going to release those and you're going to start to restore peace harmony, balance, and fairness in your life. And that's what's opening the doors to the new beginning. Very powerful. All right. In light of this new, uh, this full moon, not new moon, full moon, let's get your moon energy. Scorpio, let's find out what the, uh, what the moon is happening. Oh, wow. Interesting. All right. Let's start with this one here. It's the falling moon. It's release blocks. Absolutely. The blocks are your deep thoughts, right? Your dark thoughts, not your deep thoughts, your dark thoughts. Um, you need to release those blocks. And that is that 10 of swords releasing the blocks in a positive way. And that's going to be around that full moon. It's going to be the moon dance. It's going to be a time for celebration. You are feeling, there is a lot of victory here in your reading as well with those two aces of swords. And then with that ace of cups, emotional victory and insight is coming to you. When you release those blockages, you will be uh, celebrating. Um, you will be in the mode of celebration. So, and that celebration brings you to those new, new beginnings. All right. Scorpio, let's get your angel. 
card here. So let's look, we've got, a, we've got lots of aces. So let's look at aces as definitely um, a powerful number for you. Uh, and you got a lot, you got four aces, five aces. Uh, and you know, you did get a couple of threes. You got three threes as well. So uh, aces and threes, keep that in mind. Let's find out what your angel message is, what the angels would like to share with the beautiful sign Scorpio. And that it is that message. Wisdom. My mind is strong, open, and clear. The angels are letting you know that working on nurturing a deeper connection with your own divine power can help you deal with changes and challenges with ease and can ensure you become your own tower of wisdom and calming presence in your life. Wow, lots of wisdom. And you know, you are at that phase right now where you are learning. We have that as the teacher. The teacher, which is the current energies, you're bringing that into your, en your energies this week. And you have a lot of wisdom within you. And your, your life is really calling out to that, to, it's calling out to you for that right now. So trust in your inner guidance and in your inner wisdom. Remove blockages. Absolutely. Release those blocks from your life. All right. Angel number for the beautiful sign Scorpio. And there it is. Wow. And we have all about manifesting with that magician. Remember, this is manifest your dreams. Four, five, six. So four plus five is nine plus six is 15. So the number 15 or the number six. And we have number six in the center of your reading as well. You have the power to make things happen. It is time for you to take action and faith, or with faith and confidence, knowing that your angels are guiding and supporting you every step of the way, and you are not alone. You have supportive connections in the spiritual world and on the earthly plane. Four, five, six, and remember, aces and threes. Very important numbers for you this week. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for joining me today. I hope that parts of this do resonate. I wish they resonated with everybody all the time. But if they do, please leave comments. Let me know. Please also like, share, and, and subscribe. And until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.